Year 9 Biology. Welcome. Are you excited for a fun learning session? Make sure you have your book and a pen before we start. Today you are going to learn about reactions in plants. Reactions in plants. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants use light energy from the sun along with carbon dioxide and water to produce glucose and oxygen. Photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast. Inside chloroplasts is a green substance called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll captures the light energy from the sun and this energy is stored in the glucose. Photosynthesis is a chemical reaction and there are conditions that speed the rate of the reaction, temperature amount of carbon dioxide amount of light. If the reactants that are needed in the process of photosynthesis are missing then the reaction stops. The reactants are limiting factors this means that they limit how much photosynthesis can take place. The limiting factors of photosynthesis are, amount of carbon dioxide amount of water amount of light if any of these drop then the rate of photosynthesis is will slow, if they are not present then photosynthesis will stop. Respiration is the process in which the body releases energy from sugars and uses this energy in processes around the body, such as active transport. When respiration takes place using oxygen it is called aerobic respiration. During the day plants photosynthesize and use some of the oxygen they produce to respire and so some oxygen is released. However at night, due to lack of light, the plant cannot photosynthesize but the plant still needs to respire. At night plants use oxygen to respire using glucose that they have stored as starch. In order to allow all cells in the plant to respire glucose must be transported around the plant from where it was made in the leaves. Glucose is transported as a solution through vessels called the phloem.